بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الحمد لله بيهف توفيقه Continue our study of Al-Isharatu wa Tanbihat. As you remember, Ibn Sina in this chapter tries to somehow defend or you know find excuse for non-mystics, uh, the people that their ultimate end is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their ultimate end is uh, some pleasure in heaven or, you know, avoiding uh, pain of the hell. And therefore, they try to reduce or stop pleasure of dunya in order to get something similar or avoid you know the opposite of pleasure which is pain in the hereafter so the excuse that he had was uh, these people they haven't uh, become uh, mature enough or they have not developed enough in order to understand to appreciate to have a taste of those pleasures and therefore we should not expect from them more than this. And we, alhamdulillah, studied the main text, which is by Ibn Sina, about this part. We now are supposed to study the commentary by Khaja Rahmatullah Alai. Then we have about uh, two, three lines from Ibn Sina about the opposite to this, which is for the mystics, that they aim at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then, inshallah, we, if we have time, we go to the next chapter, which is the very first station of the mystics, which is the station of Al-Irada, which is very, very important. So, First, let's see what Khaja has to say about the part we already studied from main text. As you remember, he said, Ibn Sina had said, إِنَّمَا مُعَارَفَتُهُ مَعَ الْلَذَّاتِ الْمُخْدَجَةِ So Khaja says, أقول المخدج الناقص مخدج means incomplete يقال أختجت الناقة إذا جاءت بولدها ناقص الخالق when a camel delivers her baby and the baby is not yet developed it's not ready, you know, like uh, uh, all the organs, you know, to be ready. It's not yet yet at that stage. It's naqis al Is It's still incomplete in creation. We don't expect this newborn baby to be able to walk or talk <laughs> or for human beings or for animals, you know, do their own normal things. But at least as a baby should be complete. But this baby is not complete. Valvaladu Muhdaj. So it is used for the mother. They say Ahdajat Naka and then the baby becomes Muhdaj Isma Maful. Valhanun al Mushtaq. Hanun means Mushtaq. We said Hova Hanunun Elaiha. غافلون أما ورامز such a person is very eager for those lazat which are incomplete and heedless about anything beyond these 
incomplete lazat. They mean by lazat muhtaja, incomplete means worldly lazat for eating, drinking, etc. Then we said, وَمَا مَثَلُهُ بِالْقِيَاسِ إِلَى الْعَارِفِينَ إِلَّا مَثَلُ السِّبْيَانِ بِالْقِيَاسِ إِلَى الْمُحْنَكِينَ or muhannakin. We said the example is like the example of children compared to people who are adults. So, حَنَكَتْ أُسْنْ أَوْ أَحْنَكَتْهُ أَيْ أَحْكَمَتْهُ التَّجَارِبْ حَنَكَتْهُ or ahnakatu. Hannaka bab taf'il, ahnaka bab if'al. When experiences make someone really grow, they say that person has become muhnak or muhannak, means well grown up, well experienced, well mature. So children compared to the people who are very mature and very much grown up, they don't have the same understanding. Sometimes these children don't understand why those adults don't play like them or they have interest in other things because children don't have this experience. Ibn Sina said, Saru yata'ajjabuna min ahl al-jid izazwarru anha. Children become very surprised about people who are serious when they turn away from these lazat. So, izvarra'an means adala'an. To go away, to turn away is odul or izvarra'an. A'ifin allaha, these adults are a'ifun. A'if means they don't have interest. When someone doesn't like food, doesn't like drinking, they say means he turned away, he didn't drink or eat. They do like اعتقاف. اعتقاف means اكوف على غيرة. What does it mean اكوف على غيرة means? They focus and are uh, eager for the other things. When you go towards something and you are very careful about it and you don't want to miss it, you are re regular, for example, about it or consistent, this is called okuf. Akafa. means. What Allah has given them, Malakahu iya. Bu'thara'an kushifan. We said, you know, such people, their sight is blinded. And even if you remove, they cannot see anything more than this. So, Bu'thara'an in kushifan. Tamaha basarahu ila shay ertafa. Look up to something means to aspire to something. Qab qab means stomach. This refers to the pleasures we gain from eating and drinking. Zab zab is for the sex, uh, sexual organ for uh, male, but here it stands for uh, pleasure get, uh, which comes from sexual relation. And Sheikh said, "Ida bo'sera anhu fala mat mahal basarhi fi ula wa ukhra illa illa lazat qabqabhi wa zabzabhi." Even if the veil is removed, he only wants pleasures of eating and drinking and sex, something, something like this. He says, Sheikh is referring to a hadith. He was considering or, you know, mindful of this hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is quoted as saying, Man wuqiyya sharra laqlaqihi wa qabqabihi wa zabzabihi faqad wuqiyya. 
whoever has been saved from bad coming from his tongue tongue lak lak <laughs> because tongue is you know moving gab gab means a stomach zab zab is the organ for reproduction so if someone is saved from bad coming from a speech lesson or food drink which of course you know money all these things also can be partly because of you know you want to eat you want to drink good things very good thing and also chastity if someone can be saved from these things فقد وقيه he has been really saved means uh, almost all problems come from this tree almost most of our problems come from this tree alhamdulillah this finish now before khaj makes further reflection he explained only uh, the terminology he has a few words uh, you know here that are about the part that we haven't yet started i said there are few lines remaining which is about mystics so there is no harm in continuing because he, it helps us when we go back to the main text it's just explaining the words ashujun Shojun that it comes later al mustabsir bi hidayat al quds fi shojun al ithar so just remember shojun is plural for shajn wa tariq al wadi wadi means valley tariq al wadi is the path towards the valley or inside the valley when you come down for example kad you know, we have in hadith al kadu ala ayale al kad ash shiddatu fil amal wa talabu al kasb when you work hard especially if you want to make earning this is called kad kad the yamin for example we say you know to work with your own hand now the whole chapter so far was just explaining the words الغرز من هذا الفصل تمهيد العذر لمن يجوز أن يجعل الحق واسطة في تحصيل آخر غيره أو غيره. The purpose of this chapter is to bring تمهيد means to prepare. To prepare to bring excuse for someone who might make haq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasita a means a medium for getting something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tahseel akhar means tahseel shayan akhar ghayr he means other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we want to have an excuse on behalf of the people who may choose something else as their ultimate end not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa who are these people man yatazahadu fi dunya wa ya'budu al-haq those who try hard to be exercising zuhd yatazahad there is takalluf here Arif also is Zahid, but Arif Zod is different. Arif Zod comes with ease, without pressure. Arif is enjoying himself. It's not, you know, feeling that I am deprived. But this type of Zahid maybe feels that he's depriving himself for getting something better. So, Yatazahad is trying to be uh, uh, ascetic. وَيَعْبُدُ الْحَقِّ and worships or serves haq raghbatan fi thawab or rahbatan min al iqab either because has a yearning and desire for reward or fear from punishment 
what is the whole excuse if you want to summarize the whole concept and what Ibn Sina wants to bring as excuse is that these people are naqis they are not yet fully grown up and you should not expect from them more than this of course this <laughs> includes uh, most of the people and maybe uh, I don't know Ibn Sina himself uh, we don't know how he was you know in these things but he doesn't say I am Arif he's just explaining and also I am sure I am not Arif so I have this problem so the point the main point of excuse is to explain that this non-mystic has naqs incomplete is it incomplete in his essence has not yet fully grown up compared to orafa and awliyaullah we are children and our worries and concerns and joys many times are like children for them they may you know <laughs> uh, laugh at us uh, in their heart that you know why we spend so much time and attention on certain things or why you know we become too much upset about certain things uh, I think I told you uh, in some of the lectures that uh, the late Ayatollah Ahmad Imyanajir uh, he was teaching us Dars Akhlaq we had some other lessons from him but for several years many years he used to teach Dars Akhlaq in our school madrasa so one of the things he said was that uh, sometime when I look at my Gilan children and why they fight I am very you know surprised it's very much uh, you know like something that you want to laugh uh, for for example you know one piece of uh, you know we say pofak you know uh, something you know like puffed you know uh, like a crisp say for example well, just one crease that one child takes from another child they cry so much they cry the tears come as if this is end of dunya or for example you know he said you know sometimes if uh, father mother wants to clean their nose you know with the tissue you want to clean the nose they cry, you know, put it back, for example. Why you clean, you know, they are not in good mood sometimes, you know, they do this. Very small children. So he said, when I look at my grandchildren and their, you know, cries and this, so I say, oh Allah, many times you must be also laughing at us. Something in, of course, Allah doesn't laugh, but to use simple, simple language. When you see what are our problems, Sometimes we, for days, for weeks, you know, are sad or upset or, you know, we don't talk to each other because he said this about me or to me or did this or that. Many of these are childish when you go some levels higher. But the problem is that you have to go higher to see this. Unfortunately, till you are still here, it's difficult unless you just trust Olya Allah and try to follow them and say okay they say these are not important so I don't pay attention they say I should not stop my relation with people because they have not been kind to me so I try to just trust them and carry on but still there is pain because you think oh this is very you know difficult you know they deserve all kinds of boycotting etc but when we go higher it doesn't matter Uh, 
So, Vajhul Uzr Bayanu Naqsihi Fi Zate This is the excuse that this person in his essence still is incomplete. Of course, this doesn't mean that he is not responsible because this is different from a child who is born like this. We are also responsible for not being complete. If someone is born with difficulties in understanding, that person is excused. But these people, like me, we are not totally excused. Although maybe we, uh, an Arif can understand me, but uh, still I have responsibility. I cannot say, you know, I was born like this. No, we are all born, we and Orafal are born the same. Maybe some people, you know, a little higher, late, uh, lower, but it's not that someone is born as Arif and someone is born as non Arif. So, there is such an excuse. Wafi ibarat al-shaykh al-lata'if kathira Now, this is the part that I mentioned last week, that you understand the deep insight of Khaja. Khaja is very, very uh, deep, mashallah. And if you compare Khaja, for example, to Fakhr Razi, you realize, although Fakhr Razi was a great a scholar but compared to Khaja is very much different. So Khaja says Fi Ebarat Shaykh Lataifu Kathira Tatabayanul Mutamil Fiha in the sentences expressions of Shaykh al Rais there are many lataif, latifa means those things which are subtle, nice points which are very subtle. If someone reflects and contemplates, can uh, find them clear. But without ta'amul, you don't understand. Minha vasvulladzatil hissiyate bin nuqsan al khilqah. One of the points which is interesting is that Khaja compared such people with Mukhdaj, like a camel child which is incomplete. So this is one point. It's a kind of incompletion in creation. And as if this is something that cannot be fixed. وَهُوَ نُقْصَانٌ لَا يُمْكِنُ أَنْ يَزُولُ This is a kind of incompletion that cannot be stopped. Of course, I believe, and I'm sure Khaja also believe the same way, that it's not that they cannot be stopped, but it's not easy. When you are in that condition, you cannot do anything else. But you have to come out of that condition, like a child. As a child, you are like that, but you have to grow. You should not remain as a child. So, at the same time that this nuqsan cannot be removed, but if you go higher, this nuqsan can stop. So, it doesn't mean that you cannot change and you have to be like this. Another thing is, Tashbihu man lam yaqdir على مطالعة البحجة الحقيقية بالأعمى. ابن سينا likened someone who cannot really look at true pleasure. He likened such people to الأعمى, those who are blind. الذي يطلب شيء فاته. Suppose there is a blind person who is looking for something which is missing. For example, he's looking for his, I don't know, pen or for something else and cannot see what is on the desk, uh, stretches his hand and takes different things, maybe it's what he wanted, maybe it is something else. So, Al-A'ma Al-Ladhi Yatlubu Shay'an Fatahu Fa'innahu 
يعلق يده بما يليه he holds onto anything that comes to uh, available for his hand سواء ان كان ما علق بيده مطلوبا او لم يكن whether what he took was matloob what he wanted or something else ومنها التنبيه على ان زهد غير العارف زهد عن كره another thing that we can understand from what ibn sina said is that those zuhad ascetics who are not arif they put pressure on themselves they are distancing themselves from worldly pleasures but they have difficulty it's not easy for them and therefore it's possible that maybe sometimes also they end up with uh, losing everything maybe they n- you know rebel the nafs rebels you know if you are not really growing and become you know adult and as a child you try to uh, imitate adult and don't play you know don't you know do childish things <laughs> then there's a chance that you may develop some problems you may become depressed you may have you know some complexes as a child y- you have to do certain things the best thing is to grow so that your desire for those things has stop yes for a time you can be a good child <laughs> among children there are people who day and night for example do this some people do less but by force you cannot act like adults this is one of the things that we should observe you know s- sometimes we read for example about uh, about that of the prophet and Amir al-Mu'minin, Imam Zain al-Abidin. But those are not things that we can force ourselves to do. Maybe one week you can do like that. Maybe one month you can do like that. If you are very, I don't know, a strong, maybe six months you can do like that. But after that, there is a great chance that your nafs may totally rebel and create other problems for you or your body may you know break down they were enjoying and doing this and when you enjoy even if your body becomes tired still the body can cope with but if you don't enjoy that's terrible that breaks the body it's not just tiredness it breaks the body and too much pressure on the mind on the heart so we have to gradually train ourselves discipline ourselves but we should know that this is not the main solution this is just something to help the main solution is to grow and this comes with ma'rifa with understanding with tafakkur with love not just with doing more actions okay منها ان منها التنبيه على ان الزهد غير العارف زهد عن كره زهد of non mystic is an korhen is with difficulty Korm is something you know you don't like. Is it like me say no makru is from the same root. Fahova ma'akonehi fi surat zuhad ahrasul khalqi bitab ala lazat al hasiya. These people, although they look like zuhad, because if you look at them, they don't have you know many of uh, pleasures that. people of dunya have and many means for them yeah, they have abundant but they are ahrasul khalq maybe they are gr- uh, the most greedy people in their t- nature because at least other people somehow they are satisfying their nafs and meeting their needs and desires but imagine you know if you just put pressure 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 then it can increase more 
it can create more greediness. فَإِنَّ تَارِكَ شَيْئًا لِيَسْتَعْجِلَ أَضْعَافَهُ أَقْرَبْ إِلَى الطَّمَعْ مِنْهُ إِلَى الْقِنَاعَةِ Someone who is leaving something aside in order to get in future many times more of that. I don't get this, but in future I want the same thing many times more. Such person is closer to Tama than being to Qana'a. Means is more greedy than being content. It's true that right now he doesn't go for those pleasures, but it's not Qana'a. It's not that he doesn't want. He wants something more. Just this example came to my mind, it was maybe a funny example. You know, imagine a poor a beggar asks for money, for example, you give him uh, 50 cents, he gives you back. This is not a sign of being content. He gives you back because he is unhappy with this uh, 50 pence. He says, you know, give me five pounds, give me 10 pounds. So this is not that this person has no interest. He is actually expecting something more. So this is not Qana'a. So maybe we can say they have some basic level of Qana'a, but they are not really Qana'a. Because uh, still they want this. And they want lots of reward from Allah. Another point which is subtle and one of those lata'if, one of the subtle points that Ibn Sina has here, is nisbatu himmatihi ila dina'ati wa dha'af. You know, Ibn Sina said, la mat maha li basarihi illa ila ladhati qabqabihi wa dhabdhabi. Means such people are very low in their desires. They have no ambition. They cannot think something more than eating and these kind of things. And this shows that أَنَّهُ أَدْنَى مَنْ زِلَّتَانْ مِنْ أَنْ يَسْتَحِقَّ تِلْكَ الْلَذَّاتِ الْخَسِيسَةِ They are very close in the rank to deserve those kind of pleasures. أَدْنَى مِنْ perhaps means very close. Because أَدْنَى means very close, means uh, closer or lower. دُنُوف can mean nearness or can mean low, to be low. Means they are very close to this level or they are even lower than this because this is their aim. <laughs> they want to get this, so they can be even lower than this. But I think it's better to say they are very close to this. Another thing is that a tabirul balir, very balir means eloquent, but here means uh, something which is very clear, something which really delivers the message. A tabirul balir. في تخصيص لذة البطن والفرج بال سوري فرج بالذك the very uh, clear uh, expression that he summarized everything and only mentioned غب uh, غب and ذب ذب means in the end everything is for them eating drinking and uh, sexual relation for example. They want, for example, you know, huris and, you know, uh, eating and drinking. So this is another subtle point. Now, if you go to the main text, so this was so far Ibn Sina's point about the excuse for people who are not Arif and they choose something other than Allah as the end. And they use Allah to reach that end, even if it is heaven, for example. Now, if you go to the main text, وَالْمُسْتَبْصِرُ بِهِدَايَةِ الْقُدْسِ 
في شجون الايثار 70 page 76 المستبصر بحداية القدس في شجون الايثار قد عرف قد عرف اللذة الحق but the one who is not without basira without you know we said like a person who is a'ma no the one who has been able to see of course it's not about physical seeing or physically not seeing it's the heart al mustabsiru bi hidayat al quds the one that because of the guidance of quds we had quds before that you know uh, holiness and that sacredness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives vision to someone fi shujun al ithar in the path of ithar shujun we said it is at tariq of al wadi the path in the valley ithar means to choose over so if Allah gives someone this vision that can see through this path of preferring haq over anything else these people qad arafa ladhat al haq this here al haq is adjective it's not muzaf and muzaf like these people have understood the pleasure which is true which is the pleasure of being with Al-Haq and has turned his face to that direction and he would have mercy or ask Allah please have mercy on the other person who has been taken away from his guidance to the opposite so they would not condemn them they would not attack them they would ask Allah to have mercy on them you, you know you as a grown-up person would not condemn a child you wish that child you know grow so these people have uh, esterham means they ask rahma for these people that have been taken from rushd to ghay instead of asking for allah they ask uh, you know allah for something else or ask for allah for something else when kana ma yatawakhahu bi kadhi mabdulan bi hasab wa'di although what this person is trying with his mashaqqa and you know kad to achieve is granted to them as they are promised so they want blessings of heaven they will be given but still arif has you know esterham still arif is not happy feels that this person had better chance better potential this person should not have been satisfied with just getting these you know things as he was promised yes that's there and you get it but you should ask for something more for example you know suppose if you know amir al mumineen invites us to his home and he says you know i know you are thirsty come there you know i give you cold water okay with difficulty of you know hot weather of uh, kufa we reach his home and we get our you know cold water and we are happy and we say khuda hafiz okay you have got what you wanted but you go to amir al mumineen and just you know to get cold water or you go there to look at his face to listen to him to enjoy his presence to gain light so when 
we want to go to heaven we want to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not just to want you know something from heaven so now please look at Khaja again وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ فِي آخِرِ هَذَا الْفَاسْلِ أَنَّ هَذَا النَّاقِسَ الْمَرْحُومِ this person who is incomplete but is marhum means we have mercy on him RF has mercy on him and you know ask Allah to have mercy on him يَنَالُ مَا يَرْجُوهُ وَيَتْلُبُهُ بِكَدْهِ مِنَ الْلَذَّاتِ الْحِسِّيَّةِ Hasbama wa'adahu al-anbiya alayhimu salam This person would reach, Yanalo, would reach what he was hoping and what he was, Yatulo, was seeking. He would reach it, Bekaddehi, you know, he was working hard to reach something. With his hard work, he was seeking something. He would reach it. Then this man is bayan for ma, my musuleh. مَا يَرْجُوهُ وَيَتْلُبُهُ He would reach. What is that he was hoping for and trying to reach? مِنَ الْلَذَّاتِ الْحِسِّيَّةِ Pleasures which are حِسِّي Materialistic pleasures. حَسْبَ مَا وَعَدَهُ الْأَنْبِيَا In the accordance, in accordance with uh, what Anbiya had promised. You do this, you get this in heaven. So he will be given river, you know, I don't know, palace, drinks, etc. وَقَدْ أَشَارَ إِلَى كَيْفِيَّةِ ذَلِكْ فَنَّمَةِ ثَامِنْ How they get what they wanted? What is كَيْفِيَّةِ? How that is happening? Ibn Sina has refer to it in the previous chapter 8th section of Isharat Hina dhakara imkana ta'alluq nufus al-bul bi'ajsamin hiya mawzu'atun litakhayyulatihim This is a very uh, deep philosophical point and uh, I think this is not the only interpretation, but uh, this is one interpretation. Ibn Sina has the idea that those souls which have not yet grown and have not fully developed, and he called them bull, bull is plural form for abla. I mean they are not aqil, those which are lacking understanding. So what happens is that they enjoy their own imaginations. Because many times we enjoy or we suffer from what is in our heart and mind. So, if, if I am jealous, I suffer from this. It's in my heart. Or if, for example, I think, suppose I think I, am, I have cancer. It's not in my heart, it's in my mind that I think I have cancer. I suffer a lot. Then after some days, I realized the test was mistaken. But I already suffered like a person who had cancer. No difference. <laughs> For Laza and Alam, reality is not needed. At least in some type of Laza. What you think is important. If you remember in some of previous discussions in uh, philosophy or akhlaq, you know, maybe some of you were there. We said that philosophers say, إِدْرَاكُ الْمُلَائِمْ بِمَا هُوَ مُلَائِمْ is لَذَّ Something which is pleasant, but you should also understand it and look at it as being pleasant. If something is reality pleasant and you don't know that, you don't pl have pleasure. 
or in reality is even bad but you think it is good you still have pleasure so it's because your understanding is very important it's not physical it's not like for example if you bring fire to someone's skin it would burn it whether he understands or not pleasure and pain are not like that because they are not for body they are for soul and soul unless pays attention and understands would not be affected this is why it's very important point here very very important point here this is why we have ability to control our pleasure and pain many times we think pleasure and pain are not in our hands I am ill someone is ill I don't know poor problem war I must suffer but this is not correct problems can be there but you have a volume <laughs> this volume you can you know decide how much you want to suffer not a hundred percent but you can make it very much more or less not maybe a stop it unless you are really in control of everything but uh, still maybe i can reduce it 10 20 percent another person can r reduce it 30 percent or increase 10, another person maybe 80 percent but there is a volume many times we decide to suffer and this has been put in us and has become like a uh, you know a kind of automatic uh, program that I should suffer or I should enjoy so this is very important discussion and you know we can work on this a lot to decide how much attention we want to give to things but let's go back to this question those who have not understood many things suppose someone who is bold uh, from the ball is abla unintelligent in the sense that has no understanding they may enjoy many things but these are their own images these are their own fantasy these are their own imagination and uh, still they enjoy please look at the text قَدْ أَشَارَ إِلَى كَيْفِيَّةِ ذَلِكَ فِي النَّمَةِ الثَّامِنِ Ibn Sina has referred to the you know way that these people can reach those Lazzat Hissi in the eighth section when he mentioned the possibility of the souls of the people who are unintelligent the possibility of their souls belonging to ajsamen to the objects that are subjects of their imagination you know sometimes we think i have a you know good i don't know uh, food good house good car and i start enjoying but this is not real but uh, you enjoy it <laughs> but this is your imagination تخيلات وعبر عن هذه السعادة and Ibn Sina has referred to this kind of سعادة سعادة means happiness felicity happiness it's a kind of لذة but this لذة for such people is السعادة التي تليق بهم for them this happiness is suitable <laughs> For, so they get the pleasure but the pleasure which is suitable for them they were after imagination and false things they will get also this pleasure but from their own false imaginations 
but it's uh, still they are enjoying somehow. Okay, so basically, of course, as I said, uh, this doesn't mean that Zohad are not going to have anything real. This is uh, for people who are not reaching the level of Bulugh uh, and Aql, because uh, many of these Zohad are very well, you know, intelligent as well. Uh, so this is just one kind of thing to mention that there is such a possibility. So Alhamdulillah, this discussion finished. So we talked about what is the purpose of Zahid and Abid and Arif and the difference. And then we mentioned there is excuse for the people who choose uh, something other than Allah as the ultimate end and they try to obey Allah to reach that end we brought some excuse for them but then we said Arif is the one that has turned his face to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now the journey starts so now we are prepared to see what journey Arif is going through what stations the Arif is going through of course we are just hearing something and maybe guessing something but we have to make this journey we have to embark on this journey so that at least we have a taste and glimpse of it may Allah inshallah help us inshallah to embark on this journey alhamdulillah rabbil alameen